In this video, we will solve example 5.2. The problem reads, a 16-pound bowling ball and a 10-pound bowling ball are dropped from a height 1.5 meters above the floor. Which ball, if any, has more kinetic energy just prior to striking the floor? What is the difference in their kinetic energies? So this problem is dealing with the conservation of energy, which states that the total energy of an isolated system remains constant. We can write this as total energy is equal to gravitational potential energy plus kinetic energy, which are the two types of energies we will be dealing with in this problem. And these will remain constant. Now, to make things more clear, we will create a diagram. So we have our two bowling balls. The 16 pound one, which is 7.3 kilograms. And the 10 pound one, which is 4.5 kilograms. Now when they're at their top, we are looking at gravitational potential energy. Gravitational potential energy, we can see, depends on three things. It depends on mass of the object, the gravity, and the height the object is at. Now when the balls are at the top, of their height, we know that the gravitational potential energy is at its max. Therefore, for both these, we can write G P E max. And now we know that kinetic energy, based on its equation, depends on mass as well as velocity. Now when the balls are at the top we know that they are not moving. Therefore their kinetic energy equals zero. So we can write Ke zero. Now once the balls start to fall they transfer energy from potential energy to kinetic energy. Therefore, at the bottom, their gravitational potential energies are equal to zero because their height is zero. And their kinetic energies are max because their velocities are at their max. So in essence, we can determine that this question is really asking which of the bowling balls has the greatest gravitational potential energy, because all of the gravitational potential energy is transferred to kinetic energy before the balls hit the ground. In order to determine this, we can use the equation that we have just wrote, in which gravitational potential energy is equal to the mass of the bowling balls times the gravity times the height. Now for the heavier bowling ball, this will equal 7.3 kilograms times
times gravity, which is the constant of 9.81 meters per second squared. times the height, which at the top is 1.5 meters. And we can plug these values into our calculator. get it as an answer 107.42 joules. Now we can do the same thing for the lighter ball which is going to equal 4.5 kilograms multiplied by the gravity, which is the 9.81 meters per second squared, multiplied by the height, which is 1.5 meters. This answer we can calculate to be 66.22 joules. Now we have found that the heavier ball has a greater kinetic energy because it has a greater mass since that height is both constant for both balls at 1.5 meters and that gravity is also constant at 9.81 meters per second squared. Now for the second part of the problem they want to know the difference. So all we have to do would be to take our two values that we found 107.42 joules subtracted by 66.22 joules and we find this to be 41.2 joules which is the difference in kinetic energies between the two balls. You may remember an example discussed in class in which a feather and a heavier object were both dropped at the same time and in which they both landed at the same time. This was due to the fact that when air resistance is neglected, free falling objects have the same velocity. This holds true for this example as well. If we neglect air resistance, the two bowling balls would have the same velocity. But we must remember that kinetic energy also depends on mass. Therefore, the heavier objects will have